So as I am recording this, my last YouTube upload was four months ago, and gotta be honest, I'm pretty shit at this, aren't I? And it doesn't help that I am totally addicted to Farming Simulator. Uh, yeah, that is no excuse whatsoever, really, is it? But do you know what would really bring me back to YouTube? A fucking good replay. And I got this replay from Danska from the Haku clan. And there's one thing you need to know about Danska. He is a bit of a gamer. And one big reason why I am uploading this video is the tank that he sent me the replay in and that is the Barask. You cannot tell me that is not the most over-edited intro ever, <laughs> but it is worthy for probably my favourite tank in the game, the Barask at the uh, tier 8 French premium medium tank, of course brought to us today by Danska, and he is platooned up with DeRoy and Tony in their Barask and their T92 respectively, and yeah so there's a reason why i made a bit of an intro for this video um the brask is by far and away uh my most favorite tank in the game and why is that so if you ask me it's got quite a unique play style that you can't really find in other tanks and why is that so yeah it's a two shots auto loader with 360 alpha per shot making a total for 720 damage and the brass ability to dish out that damage in quick bursts is astonishing so you only have a two second intricate reload for that 360 alpha and bear in mind uh, most tier 8 mediums especially the tech 2 ones hit only for about 250, 240, maybe some of them hit for 320. So you have basically a tier 8 medium that hits harder than most other tier 8 mediums as and is an auto loader. And that means that the Brask is, well, completely overpowered if you ask me. And it also gets APCR as standard with 1000 shell velocity. But Danska is not wasting any of his time with that ammo. He is going full premium ammo loadout with the... Oh, I believe it's, they are about 230 pen. And they have, but more importantly, they have 1250 shell velocity. Which at tier 8 is pretty damn decent if you ask me. So, so today's replay is on Westfield and... Well, Westfield is a pretty decent map for the Barask as well. In fact, if you ask me, this map is probably one of the better ones in the game. And I do make that statement with some salt because most of the maps in this game absolutely suck dick. And I suppose Westfield is just um, slightly less shit, if you ask me. And... He's had a bit of a quiet start to this game, hasn't he? And the team are not necessarily doing very well either. So, at the moment, for what we can see, uh, Danska's team is 4,000 hit points down. Tony's already dead. Tony's had a bit of a shit game, to be honest with you. And this isn't really looking very good, is it? He's got a 122 TM in front of him. That's just missed as well. And a bat chat 12T. Funny fact, the 12T is the Brask basically but with a different turret so the Brask has the basically an EBR turret with a 105 and of course the 
Batchat has a uh, 76 millimeter, or was it a 75? I have no fucking idea. But uh, the 12 TM may be reloaded, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that thing's DPM is absolutely atrocious, but um, Danska took the shot anyway, and he is now down to less than 300 hit points, so he's basically a one-shot for most of the enemy team, as the Progetto on his team takes out the other Progetto. So, it's not looking good, is it? They're nearly, from what they can see, they are 12,000 hit points down. That's quite a deficit, if I'm honest with you. It's it's really not looking good for Danska's team, is it? So, DeRoy, who's also a pretty decent gamer, actually. He's just taking out the artillery, and he is continuing his push up north. And Danska is just holding the line down south. I think DeRoy must have spotted them, but he's managed to spot um, three of the heavy tanks moving through the mid, and this SU-130 not quite got the clip potential to knock out the SU-130 there, but the Kunzer Panzer manages to take him down. It's alright, they're only 8,000 hit points down now, <laughs> and they also have twice as many tanks, but let's see what DeRoy can do here. Let's see what kind of spotting he can do. And this is a perfect combination probably. A platoon of two very strong players in completely overpowered tanks. And look how Danska's holding his shot here. And that's an absolutely fucking perfect shot. <laughs> absolutely perfect shot. Tracking him in a very awkward position. And as that... Uh, pesky tier 10 Chinese tank destroyer the WZ111 couple ones I think I've missed a couple ones free GFT and he's holding the middle, that's a bit of an awkward position for that tank actually he's uh, sandwiched between a couple of tanks and the Kunza manages to get himself spotted and instantly taken down by the STRV on the enemy team, who I presume is probably camping up north where the Conqueror was last spotted. And it's really not looking good, is it? <laughs> it's not looking good at all. And there's the STRV. And there's one thing about the brass, it's got a very long aiming time and its gun dispersion stats aren't very good either. So you do need to let this gun aim in from long range and DeRoy gets taken out by the Conqueror from he instantly gives a uh, ping on the map where the shot came from and to give Danska as much information as possible and the enemy team are probably just thinking at this point ah, this will be easy now can he finish off the VZ yes he can nice shot there so He's still 3,000 hit points down, but he's managed to get down the situation down to a 1 versus 2. And to all intents and purposes, Danska's had a very good game here. You can't really give him um, the benefit of the doubt here. He's had a very good game here. And with this score here, I would probably be happy, but I am a bit of a scrub, so... Let's see what a, a uh, proper gamer can do with this scenario. And he's doing what I would probably do. Uh, to stay passive and see if they decide to um, go for the no cap killer option and decide to push up. So, as you can see, Danske has been very, very careful with his plays. And will he spot anything from this bush? No, he won't. And that's when he spots the Conqueror, who is on a thousand hit points. And that's more than the brass clip potential. And it looks like the enemy team are going for a no cap kill wall here. And there's the Caliban. 
He's sandwiched, and the Caliban manages to spot him as well. Good job that thing has absolutely terrible dispersion. Now he's got to avoid the Conqueror here. And <laughs> the Conqueror bounces off him. Probably crits his tracks. And he misses again. The Caliban's trying to close the range. Oh. Oh. The Caliban misses. And oh, this is so ballsy. <laughs> Holy crap. You lucky motherfucker. And the Conqueror hits him on the way out. Leaving him on... What's that? 28 hit points? And Danska needs to get unspotted here. He just needs to get unspotted. And apologies to no sound, by the way. Uh, well, the tank's replay is working as intended as usual. And there's no sounds. Nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, apologies for that. And so Danska's unspotted at this point. So he's double bushing. And finish off the... Oh, he bounces off the Caliban. And at this point, I would run. But look what he's doing here. All he's doing is just going back one bush line. And if he got into that bush, two seconds later, that Caliban would have spotted him. But no, look at him. Absolutely fantastic play here and all of a sudden it's a one versus one uh, so what have we got here so the conqueror is at 1300 hit points we know the conqueror's stock because he's using the Carnarvon gun but just because the conqueror's stock doesn't really mean anything because the Carnarvon gun he will have very good dpm um and a very good rate of fire to go along with it. We just gotta figure out what the Conqueror's doing at this point, whether he's trying to chase Dance Go Down or if he's finally realised what his team should have realised a couple of minutes ago and they should have capped. So and looks like he uh was scared and that was ballsy there by the way mate. He could have crashed. That would have been a very, very unfortunate ending to this replay if you crashed. But uh, the one mistake that this Conqueror has made now is that Danska knows where, he's, where he is now. So it means Danska can approach him from his, ang his optimal angle and put himself in the spot where his tank is going to do the best and you can see he doesn't fire here conquer obviously has six cents and he manages to put two lovely shots in to the conqueror and the conqueror is trying to blind fire but we can deal with that the conqueror is obviously not the worst player in the world and yeah Danske is up to 6,500 damage and 1,300 assistance, which for a tier 10 is usually quite decent, but in a tier 8, it's um, a quite a, a fantastic score, but it is in a Barask, <laughs> probably one of the strongest tier 8s around. I believe this thing has the highest requirements for a third mark amongst... Um, pretty much all tier 8 tanks in the game. I think it's a, it consistently sits at about 3,700. So, considering that most tier 8s have a, an average hit point pool of about 1,600, and I think the most tier 8s, especially the tech tree ones, have a requirement from anything from 2.2 to about 2.7k. So this thing is sitting at a thousand. In fact, this thing is sitting at over what most tier nines actually have for their third mark requirements. Just shows you what a insane tank this thing is. And oh, is this game over? Yes. 
And that is Danska in the Barask. Absolutely fantastic game. Six kills, 7,000 damage, and 1,300 assistance as well. So let's look at those post-game scores <laughs> because it's a bit of a uh, money pool. So he bought 350,000 credits and 2,000 102 base experience. I've never even broken the 2000 XP barrier. So even Deroy, who came second with 500 XP less, I believe 1600 is an ace in the brass. So even though he only came second and had a fantastic game, it just shows how good Danska done in his game here. And even though he is firing full premium ammo, he managed to bring in 200,000 credits. <laughs> so yeah, that's today's game, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one.